Good morning and welcome to today's video. We are here at the horse barn. Uh, I'll explain in a little bit, but we're here. And actually it's walking pretty good. Yesterday I went on a trail ride and I was gone most of the day. So Sam brought Gabby to the barn last night to take care of Chino because we usually try and come twice a day to soak his feet and, and to soak his foot and take care of his abscess. And he seems to be doing much better, a lot better. So that's why we're here. So we saddle pad so we can show you guys how this sucker works. Yep, she's still soaking it. We've been coming two times a day except for yesterday I was gone all day so we couldn't come in the morning. Yep. Uh, so they came last night. Yep. So we were gonna ride, but we forgot there's camp today. There's camp. So I'm gonna tell you guys in a second what the farrier said, but this is the new saddle pad. And it goes up like that. Does it go like that? Or does it, oh, it goes like that. Does it go like that? No. We don't even know how it works. It's got wither relief, I know. And his wither is so high up. And that's how like it looks like it needs to go. All right, so anyways. Chance, why does your wither have to be So open? anyways, so this is a saddle pad. It was so, it's so nice. Like, so these are the shims and they're like this mesh material. It's weird, like it's squishy and soft, but like so strong. Like it absorbs pressure. I don't know, they're nice. Like, it's cool they don't look super durable though because see how they're like, they fray. The saddle guy told us to shim three, two, and two. So we have three up here, two here, two here. That seems too high up to go on his wither like that. I don't know. But it, it's a wither relief, so. It fits better like that. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's either like that. Yeah, it's like that, maybe. All right. Put that big saddle up there. All right, there we go. And it holds the saddle in place and it's it's adjustable. So you take out the shim on it, but we're gonna see. It looks good though. Like that looks good. Like it's so nice. All right, anyway, we can't ride. Sophie was gonna ride Chance because she has things Brandon wants her to work on and she's excited to work on them. He's like herd bound or, or whatever you wanna call it. Like he doesn't, he wants to always try and leave. The arena. You like your new roommate? He's calm. You like him? Yeah? yeah. Good, you got cheeks now. <laughs> you got cheeks. He says like his feet aren't that bad. His abscess is, is going really good. Um, he, he checked it, he said she's doing such a good job. Like his, like literally it's like, it's like always explained away. Like every little teeny tiny thing. He's never been a horse to have abscesses before, but now he gets them and it's like any, Tiny little things, just normal things, normal environmental things that horses go through and they give him an abscess. So anyways, he wants to put back shoes on him to prevent like stone abscesses. Otherwise his feet look great, he said. If Chino was out in the wild, he'd he would be. He would be, he's exactly that kind of horse. Oh, like, my horse is droopy, but he's droopy. Yeah, he, he likes to rest. But they seem to be doing really good together. When we drove in, they were standing at the feet in the at the feeder together, side by side, bum to bum. So that's good. So this is Gabby's life. <laughs> this is her life now. The hard thing about Chino is that like he's just such a picky horse. Like he needs everything to be exactly right. And we could bring him home, and we could do all that stuff. But then she couldn't ride him. But she could ride him but she couldn't, she wouldn't have a trainer. She wouldn't have a trainer. She wouldn't have a show team. She wouldn't have friends. She would just be at home alone riding a horse for no reason, like for no purpose other than to just ride him. And that's what she wants. She wants to be at a barn and she wants to ride. And it's hard with a horse that needs like such a specific, like, how we pick our girls' feet all the time. Like we're always picking the girls' feet. We bring them in at night, we pick their feet. I go out in the arena in the daytime and they look like they need their feet picked. We just pick them all the time. Even our, our farrier for our girls has said like, I can tell you guys pick your horse's feet all the time. Um, and it's hard to do that when your horse is away. So we just do it three times a week, which should be enough for an average horse. But Chino really needs like such a specific environment and it's just really difficult. None of our other horses have ever had a, had an abscess, only Chino. It's the only Chino thing. 
None of our horses have had anything that she knows bad. But he's such a good horse. He just lunged himself almost all the way around you. Yeah, that's funny. He just like did a because she lunges him. So he just did a complete circle around her. This is weird, you guys. We came out to do the chickens. And we found this big piece of wood with hearts on it. And a whole pile of wood. Oh, okay. Well, if there's a whole pile of wood and then this, then it was your dad. He probably found it someplace. I don't know what he plans to do with that. But it's, we can put it's, it's hooks cute. on it and paint it and put it in our barn. No. <laughs> She's like, I am too busy. That would be such a good picture. <laughs> she likes it! It's so hard to walk with this. Hold on. What a good dog. Can you grab my phone from my backpack? Oh. <laughs> oh, I take a photo of her on it. This was another, whoa. This was another dream, you guys. To be able to sit here in the shade and watch the horses or the kids. I love it. Oh, Sophie's trying to get a picture. <laughs> Sophie actually takes really great pictures. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's see, sister. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. It's a little dark. Oh, and it's it's too bad she didn't like face There's you. Gabby in the background. Instead of looking up at Gabby. She's got creepy eyes, but she's cute. See, that one's cute. Your eyes are creepy. I like her head down. That's the one. That's the one. I love it. Send them to me. Can you send me all the all those first ones? And you took Penny. a picture of Penny last yeah, night? Yeah, I snapped some. I'd actually like to put like a sandbox here, over here maybe, and then a jungle gym down there or something. The greatest idea. What'd you come up with? Um, if we cut all that stuff down, we could put a fence and make that a little area to set up all the obstacles and stuff and make yeah. that the obstacle course. Oh yeah, if we got rid of all this brush, which we were trying, slow but steady, we could make our obstacle area over here instead of in the arena, which is so super cool. The reason we never go in the arena so much is because Sam is trying to find some kind of tool to scrape the grass, but more than that, because it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of grass you in there, the rock that more I than found that, it's always so hot back there. You want to see the rock that I found? Let's see, you get Sophie's rock that she found? Gabby, you want to see the rock that I found? No. Look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's Gabby's air paws. All right, let's go. When the horses are all standing outside and we're in the barn, that's the way, that's how you know something's happening. What's happening, Sophie? What? What's happening? She's getting a water, a water pool for the horses. So that, yeah, so that she can make the horses walk through it. Ruby's like, I'll just have a drink. Gracie's brave, she's the bravest one. Willow wants to come. Today's the day that we're cleaning up our little mare field. You guys see there's poop in there. We try and do that field uh, two times a week because it doesn't get like so super bad because they're outside a lot of the time. Good Gracie already come in. Look, it's getting closer, they're getting closer. Uh-oh, Willow's like, I'm not going, you can't make me. Ruby's like, I still want a drink. <laughs> Cool 
cold in my butt. I swear to God, Gracie is our bravest horse. And you know what's weird is that when we bought her, it was because she was for sale because she was spooky. She was spooky for a lesson program. I turn around for a second and my, my brave princess is going for water. Or not. Let her smell it. That's what she likes to do. She likes to always investigate first. I know people say don't do that because you just have to be brave and walk them past it and act like it's not scary. But for some reason she really likes to investigate and it gives her confidence because then she knows it's not a big deal. Try her in the big one. Gabby says they like the big one better. So let's talk about my trail ride. <laughs> there were so many things I wanted to say, but I couldn't say because the video was so long. And I wanted to just say like, I wanted to say how Penny was such a good a trail horse in terms of like, she took care of me really well. She seems to understand like I'm her passenger and that's, I think she comes from that because she used to ride with kids. Penny what the heck did you do overnight? And she like, when we went, we went through, I showed in the video, she went through like a gate. It was kind of like um, between a gate and a bush she had to go. It was a narrow space. And we had to do that about four times, maybe three or four times. And three times, I think. And she was so careful that I never even banged my feet on anything going through those narrow spaces. Cause she's so careful and so brave. Like she didn't even stop. She looked and she saw what she needed to do and she did it like, I do have confidence in Penny, even when we're at home and she's riding terrible with me because she's like barn sour and just wants to go back at the barn and be with her horses and her friends and not do anything. Um, but I always trust her because no matter what she does, I can always handle it. Like she never does anything really, really bad. And even if she like tries to do a baby buck, she puts her head down to tell me that she's mad. And that's all she does now. Like, anyway, she, she is such a good trail pony. Yeah, that's my girl. Yeah, look, Penny. Good girl. Willow won't do it. But anyways, then I also wanted to say like how, remember when we first started out and we'd go on these trail rides because my kids really wanted to go on trail rides and I wanted to take them on trail rides. I wanted it for our horses and it was like I always was trying to go behind them and I have asthma and it just never worked out and now I finally have like a trail horse that I can trust and believe in and ride. And so now that I have that, so if he doesn't have Goldfin, who is like the best little trail pony, I have a horse. It just seems like my girls don't really have horses that are trail ready or trail ready. Chino could go for sure. And Chance is supposed to be good at trails, but I just don't know if they're ready in their relationship. This brings me to the last thing that I wanted to say. I wanted to say, no matter what horse you buy, there's always... <laughs> Kiss me! <laughs> there's always this period of time, like you buy a horse and no matter what it does in its own home, that... What it does in its old home is based on a relationship that was made and training that was done. Yeah. No matter how, and no matter how good the horse is that you bought, there's always this period of training and relationship that has to be made. There always is. Everybody I know that buys horses, they all go through the exact same journey. My friend's about to buy a horse and apparently he's really good on trails. And I'm like, yeah, he will be for like the first week. And then once he settles in, everything changes with every horse. They have to adapt to you and you have to adapt to them and your way is gonna be different than somebody else's way. And there's this whole 
process that happens every time you get a horse. So every time you get a horse, you have to like build the relationship and you have to, you have to go through this process. And I swear it takes a year to be comfortable with your horse and your horse to be comfortable, completely comfortable with you. And then for me, like it took a year and a half before I was out there on the trails with Penny. That's why it sucks selling a horse and having to buy a new one, even if it's the best horse ever. Even if it's the worst horse ever. Get that to me. <laughs> because you always still have to build a bond and you have to build a relationship. Don't you know?